packing for Texas. It looks bad, but it'll be done before um, 5 a.m. tomorrow. So that's about maybe 12 hours from now. I'll be leaving Seattle and packing up everything in the little white car. Hopefully it fits. My car is packed. I'm ready to go. Got my trusty friend with me and uh, I'll be headed to visit Jane first in St. George, Utah. We're gonna go camping for a couple days and then make the rest of the trip to Texas. <laughs> you wanted to film that the whole time, didn't you? I was wondering why it was there. <laughs> Are we saying something? <laughs> yeah, we're finally on our way to visit Jane in St. George. St. George, Utah. But someone took forever, Ian, so we're four hours behind. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. I took forever long. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Texas, Zach and I prepared the space where Alex and Jane's Mustangs were going to have their pin. The panels had already been ordered and delivered, but we had a lot of brush and little trees to clear. Zach did a lot of the work with help from some friends and neighbors over the course of about a week. Then we moved the panels to the back and set up the gigantic round pen. Welcome to Texas. At least they have their sunsets going for them. <laughs> wow. I'm just kidding. You get so, into the state and you bash them. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. Wow, Texas is beautiful. Texas is smoky <laughs> or something hazy. Look at all the land. When Alex arrived, there was still much work to be done. Though we had cut down the brush and little trees, the stumps were still in the ground. It took us a lot of digging to get them out. It was quite the backbreaking job. We also secured the panels to trees and posts to make it even more sturdy. Alex got this mesh privacy screen to add to the pen so it would look even more sturdy, like a wall. Britta from Project Equestrian gave us the idea. I think it looks professional. Next, we got a few tons of hay delivered. The hay truck had a rough time getting down our driveway, but eventually all the hay was unloaded and stacked and we were ready to go pick up Alex's Mustang. The day we had been waiting for it was finally here. We had been planning on doing this for such a long time now, even before I ever moved to Texas. We had a long day of travel before us, but we were so pumped. All right, Alex, what are, you, what are you feeling? What are you thinking? I'm so excited. I waited like my whole life for this. Like ever since I was like eight, probably and knew about Mustangs. I have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and begging my mom to go pick up a new Mustang. And it's finally happening at 27 finally. <laughs> or 28. How are old you am nervous? I? Are you excited? I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous and excited. Yeah, what are you nervous about? The horse is getting out. <laughs> <laughs> like, please, please, please do not get out. And, yeah, I don't know. I'm just excited to see them. Like, what are they going to look like in real life?
two Mustangs. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, that <laughs> was traumatizing loaded. getting them in the trailer. That's really sad, but I'm yeah. so you mean excited. cutting the necktags off? Or? Yeah, pretty That's scary sad. watching them, like, be scared. I just feel bad for them, but... Praying that they get home safely and we can unload them safely and then they'll be fine. To catch you guys up to speed on why Alex ended up with two horses, so Alex bid on the online auction back in August and had her heart set on this chestnut. But the chestnut's price shot up above her budget, so she ended up winning this black horse instead. A week after the auction, she ended up getting offered the chestnut because the winner had not paid for it. So Alex, Jane, and I came up with the idea of still getting the black horse as an alternate for the trip. In case one of our main horses has a stone bruise or something like that, we would take the black horse instead. So Jane, Alex, and I each own one third of the black horse. We have nicknamed her Black Beauty, or BB for short, until we come up with a name for her. On a scale from one to 10, how stressed are you right now, Marina? <laughs> if 10 is the highest, I'm a 30. <laughs> what about you? I'm, I'm chill as a cucumber. No, you're not, you liar. <laughs> are gonna run like this <laughs> and be free. perfectly like that all right what are you feeling excited nervous i feel at peace <laughs> really yeah i feel fine oh that's good i feel like our pen is secure we put in all the work we've had horrible luck in every way in every way so this has to go well that's that's what that means <laughs> everything has gone horrible so this has to go well or this could go horrible. Yeah. No. This, this, no. The process of getting them here was like just insane. And so I think this will go good. I felt more nervous unloading these two than Zareel or Zara. Having two run out at the same time just felt like a little bit more could go wrong. These two girls are big and they are also very reactive, which is to be expected. These poor girls had already been through a lot. We just wanted them to get inside their new pen safe and sound before dark. We wanted to take every precaution because you really only get one shot. If for some reason they got out during unloading and were free in the yard, it would take a miracle to get them back in, especially with two. Thankfully, they unloaded fine and ran straight into their new pen. Kazi's like, okay ma, that's enough Mustangs. The next morning we spent time just sitting out and watching them eat and discover their pen. After looking at their photos and videos for months, it's crazy to finally now have them in our backyard. When the chestnut was brought in from the wild, she was very thin. After being at the Paul's Valley off-range corral with free choice alfalfa for a few months, she has filled out and looks so much healthier. The black horse is so curious. She has to investigate everything, even her own poop in the wheelbarrow. The chestnut is a bit more timid and hides behind BB. We are also seeing some personality come out. And of course, it has to come from a chestnut mare. Alex and I first talked about adopting wild mustangs together three and a half years ago when we were out trail riding Kazi and Jag back on San Juan Island in Washington. I know this is a dream come true for both of us. And after all the planning and prepping and a million problems to solve, it's finally happened. We can't wait to live out the rest of this dream come true. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys all in the next video. Thank you.